this year an ambitious 10-year resurfacing programme to protect and preserve one of the world's most iconic historic buildings will mark its seventh year with the reopening of the East Wing. The extensive programme was launched to replace ageing core services to protect this historic building from the risk of fire or flood, to ensure the palace is fit for purpose and to preserve it for future generations. Let's take a look at the resurfacing story so far. The Buckingham Palace resurfacing programme began in 2017 when a detailed master plan for the extensive works was drawn up using cutting edge technology. Point cloud surveying is a way to capture a really detailed map of the building. That in turn allows us to have a level of information that we've never had before. In 2018, work in the East Wing began. Around 3,000 Royal Collection items, including priceless paintings and decorative arts, were carefully removed to allow essential work to take place. Moving historic works of art within a historic interior is always a very complex business, but this is really on a very grand scale. And we're talking about objects from paintings to porcelain to furniture, decorative objects, books, textiles, etc. The resurfacing programme also offered an opportunity to repurpose underutilised space to improve and modernise the working environment for the many staff who work at the palace, supporting the work of the royal family. Work continued in 2020, when the hub of the heating system was completely replaced to improve the energy efficiency of the palace. This is designed to deliver carbon emission savings in excess of 300 tonnes per year. A major part of the programme is to improve accessibility. In 2021, step-free access to the front of the palace was created for the first time with the completion of the Privy Purse door ramp, crafted from beautiful Yorkshire stone. Key spaces in the staterooms, including the grand entrance, the grand staircase, the marble hall, and the picture gallery, were resurfaced in readiness for the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. A major milestone for the programme was also completed in 2022 with the replacement of the picture gallery roof, providing better maintenance access, improved energy efficiency and protection of artworks. Last year, the programme continued its focus on improving facilities for the many guests who visit Buckingham Palace, including the 550,000 people who come from around the world to visit in the summer months. Now in 2024, Buckingham Palace will reopen the East Wing following five years of extensive work to protect and preserve this famous part of the building, including the centre room which leads out to the iconic Palace Balcony. While all this incredible work is being carried out, the Working Palace continues to operate as usual throughout, for guests, staff and the Royal Family. As it enters its final three years, this ambitious programme carries on, with more work to be done to protect this historic building from the risk of fire or flood, and to ensure it is fit for purpose for generations to come. <laughs>